Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing of two more sets from Paint Jam. So I have unboxed a ton of these sets on my channel before. They are really beginner friendly, budget friendly, travel friendly. I need a break from my giant project friendly, <laughs> all of the friendlies. Um, I love them. They're highly collectible and really, really cute and fun to work on. So I have two to share with you today. I did purchase these myself, but I also want to make sure I tell you right up front that I am a Paint Gem affiliate. Um, but like I said, I, I purchased most of them myself, um, including these. But of course, I, I'm going to try really hard to make sure that I give you an unbiased look at these two kits. And if you want to save 10% off your purchase, I do have a discount code you're welcome to use that is just washi10, W-A-S-H-I, the number 10. And uh, feel free to use that if you like, but no pressure whatsoever. There are a variety of other discount codes out there. I just suggest taking advantage of one of them. If you use mine, I may make a small commission that always goes right back into my channel uh, so that I can share more diamond painting goodness with you and help you decide where you wanna be shopping at. So I have two of these today. One is a pretty new release, I think just last week, maybe the week before. And then this one released, I think a few months ago, but I've seen it worked on and I knew that it had to be on my wish list and I had to pick it up soon. I'm gonna start out with the one that is the newest release, but we are gonna look at both of them today, of course. And this one is called the National Parks Edition 4.0, which yes, they have done multiple National Parks editions, which is what they call the different you know series that are in the box. Um, and I've done one of them before, and they, they're really cute for mini landscapes that are gonna be in these really small canvases. But the ones in this one look really, really pretty. Now all the paint gem sets are gonna come with this, um, this sleeve here over the white box. And if you flip it over to the back, it's gonna show you some thumbnails of the artwork that's gonna be in here. And sometimes it'll give you specific names. Like in this case, it's telling us the location of each of these places. Um, this like sunset looking one with those colors is the one I'm most excited to see, to be honest with you. Uh, and sometimes it'll just give them, you know, numbers. So it looks like we're gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve total in this particular set. So um, we can take the sleeve off. I've always said that their white branding really reminds me of a certain uh, fruit technology brand. <laughs> I think it's really clean and crisp and just has a really, really cool look. So the sticker that's on the bottom, by the way, um, we'll see this, this kind of model number in a few different places. And it just denotes, you know, what set this goes with in a model number form. And so 43, yes, they have done at least 43 of these sets at this point. So you'll kind of, you'll open it up and everything about their branding, I feel like is really on point is one of the things that I think makes it a really good gift and really beginner friendly. Um, there is a toolkit that's included, keeping on the black and white theme here. It's in a nice kind of like linen burlap kind of bag. Let me show you what's been included. And when I completed one of these sets a while back, my first one, I actually challenged myself to only use the toolkit that came with, with in the box and it's definitely doable. Um, we have a basic pen. I thought, oh, there is, it's in there. There's a squishy in there. I was like, mine came with the squishy. This one does too. So there's a squishy you can pop on there to make it a little more comfortable. We have these plastic multi-placers. These are the ones that are a little bit wider set, but you can multi-place with them if you want to place more than one diamond at a time. We're going to get some wax. It comes in this little caddy. There's just the one plate in there, but I always mention this, especially for beginners. You want to make sure you peel off that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen. And then we're gonna have a pair of tweezers. They're just the plastic tweezers. They're not terribly sharp on the end and they're a little tricky really to like pry diamonds off a canvas if that's what you're using them for, but they can work. And then we've got a little white tray. So um, Paint Gem does offer some accessories upgrades actually. I've shared them on my channel before and I'll have some links in the description box of this video if you wanna see what some of those upgrades that they offer are. And some of them make it even more you know, travel friendly and, and helpful. Um, so feel free to take a look at that if you like. But there's, yeah, so there's our box. Set that out of the way. 
We have our diamonds, which we're gonna look at in just a little bit. We have a color chart here, which you can peel these off. These are actually pre-cut stickers. And you can label these baggies if you want, because all of our diamonds come by color and baggie. So you can put these symbols on there if you want. The way that I actually used it though was sort of as like a walking legend, like a separate legend. I didn't actually peel these off. I just set it next to me when I was working on one of the canvases. And I just referred to it that way. And I just hunted for the number on the bags instead. I looked, you know, for the color family and found the number on the bags instead. So you could go either way. It's nice to have the option. Then we have all of our canvases are gonna be in here. Again, with the really cute and fantastic branding. So they, they have some, some things on each of these little sleeves. So tips and tricks. Need some help, you can scan that QR code. On either side, you've got step-by-step -step how to diamond paint. And if you're looking for a video with a demo on how to diamond paint, I actually have a beginner's video that I'll have linked below. And then here when you move the canvases, you can see they've written down what's included. So I love that. Again, ridiculously beginner friendly <laughs> um, and gift friendly. The holiday season is coming up. I swear I'm not just saying this, like I have given these as gifts in the past and uh, people love it. It's a really fun and cute introduction to diamond painting and just the whole presentation of it totally works <laughs> as far as, um, being kind of gift, I think gift ready, gift worthy. So we're gonna look at these canvases together, our little, our landscapes. Again, this is National Parks 4.0. That one's cute with the moon. You can see we've got some alphanumeric symbols and then just some non-alphanumeric symbols. Or actually it's just kind of alphabet and symbols mostly. Okay, this one I love the colors of, the purples and the pinks. Now, I've, I've been asked before, is Paint Gem licensed? Do they have licensed artwork? You guys, the answer is yes. They have an in-house artist, her name's Julia Grishko. She's on Instagram, she's posted about her work with Paint Gem and her other like projects that she creates. I think she does like cross-stitch charts, but she does, she does all of their, of their charts in-house. It's hand-charted, that's gonna be pretty. And so yes, short answer, <laughs> Paint Gem is licensed. It's like an island. And you guys know that I've talked a lot before about how licensed artwork is important to me, that we're not having uh, artists' work stolen from them. But Paint Gem is one of those that I don't know the ins and outs of their contract with Julia Grishko, um, that I don't know that they necessarily name her, like it's not on the kits, but I mean, she's been transparent about it and it, I, think it's on, I think it's on their website too. These are some really detailed ones, you guys. So there is a look at the National Parks 4.0 set and then the diamonds that come with it. It's got both that unit number I was telling you about earlier, um, as does the bottom of the sticker sheet, Parks 4.0 edition and then Mini 43, Parks 4.0. The diamonds themselves come in these resealable bags and they're in there in like kind of number list order. So for example, this is number 48. And I'll tell you what, if you went through this list and you started here and you numbered each of these, like one, two, three, four, five, I've actually done this before, just written it on here next to those. That number is what you would see this first number. So all the way at the end, this is, would be number 48. 333 is the DMC code you match to this. The 0 0.7 is the weight in either you know grams or ounces. So that's how you can match those up if you like. Um, but yeah, they do use the DMC color code system. So if you save your leftover diamonds, you know what, what color they are. And like I said, in the pack here, they do roughly put them with like their color families, you know, all the browns together and whatnot. Paint Gem kits so far, all of the mini sets that I have unboxed and worked on have come with square diamonds. That is the one thing that I think you could say, well, is it really beginner friendly then <laughs> if it comes with square diamonds because sort of, the general consensus is that round diamonds are more beginner friendly than squares, but I think that these look a lot more nice and complete with square shaped diamonds. And they're such small canvases that I don't know that the learning curve would be, would be too bad. I really don't. So you've just got lots of greens in this section and more browns and kind of yellows. I didn't have any problem with the quality on the paint gem, uh, 
diamonds of the ones I've worked on. I've done, I've completed two sets and I own a whole lot more. <laughs> no problems with the quality at all. Um, I have run into sometimes that the bags will get static in them. That is highly climate dependent. If you find yourself running into static, the best suggestion that I have is to cut up a piece of dryer sheet into small squares and tuck it in the bags. That is what I have had the most, the most luck with. Um, but I love that they're in these resealable bags. That makes it again, travel friendly. I actually, when I did my first paint gem set, I worked on it on an airplane and I'm not kidding. I actually did convert a couple of people, including a flight attendant to trying diamond painting. Cause they were seeing me work on it. We're like, Oh my gosh, that looks, looks so interesting. What is it? Tell me about it. Someone actually took a picture of like the paint gem box so that they'd remember the website. I just, I thought it was really cute and really fun. So anyway, that is the national parks 4.0 edition and it's just gonna pack right back up and it all fits right in here and i feel like if you wanted to do any tool upgrades for yourself you could really easily do that like if i'm traveling with this again what i'm probably going to do is instead of um using this toolkit i'm probably just going to take this out and tuck some other tools in here like a larger tray a more comfortable and ergonomic pen um, some thin multi-placers instead of the wider ones that come in here uh, just to make it just that much more enjoyable and you know tools that i already know that i like but again if someone doesn't know anything about diamond painting this is a really good way to go i feel like as far as kind of giving them that introduction so that was national parks edition 4.0 we're gonna look at the ocean edition now, but there are certain elements of this, like the toolkit, that I am going to skim over because we just looked at all of that. So if you skipped ahead to here and you're wanting to see me talk at length about some of the features like the toolkit, um, I'll just ask you to rewind and watch the beginning of the National Parks Edition uh, part because they should be identical. Keyword, I guess it should be. But anyway, this next set I'm gonna show you is the ocean edition. And oh my gosh, this one comes with more it looks like. so. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen canvases in this one, and so many different cute ones. Oh my gosh, so so cute. Like I said, I've seen this one. I've seen someone working on these, and they just looked so 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 adorable. There's actually there's an event going on this month called Nautical November. This is probably gonna, this video is gonna go up a little bit, probably too late to pick this up to work on this year. Maybe they'll do the event again next year. Um, my friends Jacqueline Diamond Art Sparkles on Instagram and Emma, who's um, Diamond Fun Times on Instagram are hosting it. And I think that they said that like this whole set would count as a finish for the month. But anyway, so we've got our, ooh, look at those vibrant colors. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So bright and so happy. Then we've got our toolkit. Let's just, let's just take a quick peek. It looks, yeah, it's the same. It's the same, you guys. Same toolkit. Same features with the branding and the, the box and everything. And we have a sticker sheet. This does have fewer colors than the National Parks Edition 4.0 did. A little bit fewer colors. Not a bad thing. It just is whatever the artwork calls for, right? <laughs> and then in here again, we're gonna have the you know, same really helpful tips and tricks and everything on the packaging. So you can expect this with any paint gem kit that you paint gem set that you order here. So let's flip through these and I'll kind of try to set them out so you can see as many of these as possible. Okay. So got this one. I don't remember all the na different names of the different fish that they showed on the back there. Oh, I love those. Oh, I love that one a lot. I'll try to get these all so you'll be able to see all of them. Cute. So cute. So unlike the, the National Parks one, where the National Parks one, it was kind of like a square and everything was filled in within that square. Instead, this has areas where... There's, there's no colors, there's no diamonds, there's no glue in between in those areas. So it's a different kind of effect. I love this jellyfish. All the fun little nautical things, so cute. And so many of them too. Look at the shark, <laughs> this little mouth. Adorable. Turtle, cute. Starfish, so fun. 
oh my gosh, my, my oldest is really into clownfish right now. Things are so fun. We saw them at the aquarium the other week. Fun. <laughs> Whale. Oh, I love the sears. The colors in this set are so vibrant and so pretty. Got one of our sharks. Octopus. Oh, how fun. Lobster. And a little buffer fish. Oh, stop it, you guys. This set is too cute. Too cute. I love it. I love all the vibrant colors. Now, um, I don't think I've seen really any paint gem sets come with any special drill types like ABs or anything like that. That would be really fun if they did you know, start including and charting those, but that might, you know, I don't want them to do anything that's going to drive up the cost. Um, but here's just this really beautiful rainbow of colors. Again, these are going to come in the resealable bags and have the same features as the other kit where we have like the number one. Again, if we numbered this whole list starting up here and going down, you know, and this is number one is right here and 5,200 is the DMC code and 2.6 is the weight. So this is a really colorful kit by contrast with uh, the National Parks one. And I think this one is adorable. Now, if you're looking for some display or framing or finishing ideas for these paint gem sets, I had done a review of the first set that I completed where I also covered a couple of different ways that I, I've tried out storing and displaying these. One of my favorite things to do, honestly, is to get... Um, I'll show this one to you upside down. Sorry, you guys. Uh, is to get just basic white frames, like from the dollar store, from Ikea, any place like that. Measure it out. You know, this is... Hold on. Let me make sure I'm measuring just one and not the one below it. Okay, so in inches, like if you're in the States, this is four and a half by six and a, almost seven inches. And so I might get like a five by seven frame. I kind of wish it were more like... A standard frame size like five by seven or four by six so you can either cut it down to a four by six size you know it looks like this is you know they're kind of rough cut edges here um you could cut it down to a four by six size around the edges evenly or you could put it in a five by seven frame and maybe just put like a i don't know some kind of like white background or some kind of border behind it maybe uh so there are options for displaying or framing i've also done it in just a photo album and there's some really cute ideas out there i believe that add more zest rebecca um she has shared a lot of these before and she actually she has a, a shop where she sells some different paint gem specific things that I believe include like binders with like labels and things for displaying them. So I will do my best to remember to link to her shop if you want to go and take a look and check out her channel too. She has a lot of fun content. So anyway, you guys, I really enjoyed getting into these two sets with you today. Uh, the Ocean Edition, which Honestly, if I'm being honest, I think the Ocean Edition is my favorite of the two, but I <laughs> I honestly, landscapes, about the only form that I would work on a landscape diamond painting is these mini set forms <laughs> because they're smaller and uh, it just feels more manageable to me. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't tend to work on landscapes. But um, that was my, the first set I did from Paint Gem was landscapes and I was really happy with how it turned out. But the colors and just the cuteness of the creatures in this one, these are really calling my name, but both of these look really cute. I feel like Paint Gem has such a nice variety of different themed sets. Again, I think they've got like over 40 at this point, if the number, the unit number on this one is, is correct. Um, that I, I think you should go and take a look and see if they have something that's your style. They really have a lot. And they also, because they are really popular and really nice quality for the price point, especially, they do often sell out of some of their editions, but they also do restocks. So you can sign up for their emails and they send out emails when they do like new releases, release new editions like this one and or do restocks. So um, I know I'm always watching for emails for those kinds of things from them. So uh, I'll link to these sets and some other helpful links below. Again, if you are shopping and you would like to use my code to save 10% off, I'd super appreciate it. It's just washi10. And uh, no, no pressure. Like I said, though, you'll find other discount codes, including ones that they'll email you um, if you sign up for their email. So just take advantage of one of them. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I love to hear your thoughts as far as like, have you tried a paint gem set yet? Are either of these sets calling your name? Um, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And 
Uh, take a look, like I said, in the description box for a lot of helpful links, including reviews of past paint gem sets that I've done. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content, I'd love to have you here. Feel free to subscribe. And um, yeah, so I hope you have a day and a week that is as wonderful as you are. And I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.